Hello friends, Doug Fink. Gonna talk more today about ChatGPT and the PowerShell AI module. Gonna show you how you can check, create your own chatbot and put it in a loop so you can prompt your users and interact with GPT. So let's get going. Okay, so if you're new to using uh, PowerShell AI, first thing you want to do is you want to install it. Let me just draw your attention. I'm using Polyglot Interactive Notebooks here. So each cell that you see here will have a run button. It's like uh, as if I'm typing it on the command line in a PowerShell console. So you'll see me either hit the run or I'll use a shortcut key to actually make that happen. Also up top, like you see the installed PowerShell AI module, I can, this is actually Markdown. So I can actually include documentation along with the code that, that's running. Uh, so this is, it's kind of executable documentation. Notebooks are really cool. I encourage you to check it out. We're not gonna cover those in detail. So let's try and install the module. Just have a little check. Uh, it gets the module. If it's installed, it'll put that message out. Otherwise it goes ahead and tries to get it from the gallery. Okay, next what you want to do is you want to get your uh, OpenAI key and then you want to set it. You can get it by clicking on this link inside the notebook and then you want to set it to your as an environment variable. That's one way to do it. Go to the documentation on my repo and you can see other ways to set your key. So you set your key, you're good to go. Now you can do things like once it's installed and you've got that set, you can check your options for chat. Here's the basic defaults that I've set. Uh, things like tokens, max tokens, the model that you're using, um, so on and so forth. And you can use set hyphen chat session option to set any one of these. Uh, not everybody's gonna have GT GPT-4. You might have set that to GPT-3.5. Uh, your mileage may vary, check it out. So let's do some chatting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a new chat. Your name is Poshbot. You are a friendly AI PowerShell expert. And I just ran that, nothing seems to happen. Uh, but actually it does. Uh, we'll see that in a bit. So what does new chat do? It stops any previous chat sessions. It creates a new chat session. And it can also take a starting prompt, which is called a system prompt, which is a special message used to steer the behavior of chat. GPT. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm saying, telling it its name, telling it it's friendly, telling it it's an AI, and I'm telling it it's a PowerShell expert. So now, since I, ra I ran the new chat, let's uh, take a look at using get chat messages. And it, in chat GPT, in the PowerShell AI module, I keep track of all the messages that, that you send. And we'll get into why in a bit. Um, so here you can see I, I have one message, it's a system message, and there's the content, that's what we actually sent or set up with the new chat uh, function. Um, and there's other helper functions in here, um, which we'll get to see in a second. So we did a new message, uh, we, we set up our system message, made it uh, the GPT model steerable, and then I just listed what the messages are sent at this point. Now we're ready to do some chatting. So now you can use the chat function or the alias. And when you run that, I'm asking it, what is the current time? Now, if I didn't set the, do the new chat with the system message, this would be pretty ambiguous. Like what's the current time? Am I asking the model what time it is? So on and so forth. But because I, I set up the steerability of it, told it it was a posh bot, it was friendly and it was a, an, uh, an AI uh, PowerShell expert. It knows that the context is PowerShell and it actually gives me back some explanation and some PowerShell code that will give me the current time in that format. And it tells me about it. So I can go get the chat messages now. Now remember we did the system message first, then we asked what the current time is. That has a role of user. And then ChatGPT responded, and that's the response there. And its role is assistant. So you can see here, there are three messages, again, you know, the system prompt. You can see the roles are indicated by the role property. Um, and there's the three types that we have. That's pretty much all you have to need or have options to, to talk to ChatGPT. And it's all made easy inside the PowerShell bot. 
or PowerShell AI module. So now let's just stop, stop. Let's stop the chart or just stop the chat. Um, and that actually clears everything out. So if I run chat GPT messages, there's nothing there now. So it cleans out all the goodies. So let's do a chat again. This time what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up, set a new system prompt. You're gonna create an infinite loop. You're gonna prompt the user for input. If the user types exit, then you're gonna exit the loop. Uh, whatever they do, type in for the input, you'll send to GPT, you'll display the response, and then you'll stop the chat session. So down here, I can also press an L inside of a cell and get line numbers. So in 11 lines of code, you get your own little bot. Um, there we see the while loop with a one, which means a loop forever. We do a read host, uh, get the message you want to send. We check and see if it's uh, set to exit. If so, we break out of the loop. Otherwise, we do a chat of that message to GPT. And then if I do type exit, when I break out of the loop, I will stop the chat. So let's run this. Now inside of the notebooks, it prompts me up top with a text box, right? Because I'm in a UI. And uh, let's say, uh, list all the numbers, even numbers between one and 10. Now, that would be ambiguous if I just typed that in. They wouldn't know what to do with it. it would try to give me an answer. But again, I'm using the system prompt to steer it. It's a friendly AI PowerShell expert named Poshbot. So let's go ahead and see what it comes up with. Okay. You can use PowerShell, a PowerShell script to list all the even numbers from one to 10, and it gives us the script. So we set the system chat message, we prompted for some input, we sent it to chat, and then we printed it out, and that's what we, that's the response from ChatGPT. Now we, it prompts again, because we're in the infinite while loop, and I can say, make it a one liner. Okay, press enter. And there's the response. It takes it from a for loop to a piping one, a range of numbers, one to 10 to a for each object. So you can see we're having a conversation and it's remembering the previous messages as well as understanding the context of what we're working in. So it knows it's an expert in PowerShell. Um, I asked it to list the numbers that were even between the numbers one and 10. And then I said, make a one liner. Um, and then ChatGPT figures out from there what it needs to respond to and uh, how to give the best accurate answers possible. So I can type in exit, we stop the chat, and it also clears the messages. So you can see here, yeah, I just ran the chat, get chat messages, that's all clear, cleared. So this little loop you can take, you can put a further, put this in a script, take a parameter as to uh, what the prompt you want to send as a system prompt. Um, and then this will just actually go and run. And you've got your own little chat GPT uh, bot inside your PowerShell console, or you can add to your scripts. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, the subscribe, and the notification. I'll be putting out more on this type of stuff with AI and PowerShell. Take care.